12 championships to be decided, the women's fours. Well, Hugh, uh, conditions this morning not too bad. Conditions this morning um, in the B finals, which have been raced earlier today, about 10 seconds off world record time. So the following wind of 1.1 meters per second, uh, to be exactly accurate about it all, is uh, helpful um, to an extreme degree, but perhaps not enough to set new records today. So uh, let's introduce the uh, crews. And uh, over on the far side in lane one, Holland. And next to them, the uh, USA. The uh, United States crew, very much from California, representing uh, China. And this is a crew based out of Beijing uh, in lane number three. And next to them, Australia. In the uh, stroke seat, Kate Hornsey from Tasmania. Then Amber Bradley from Western Australia with Joe Lutz. And in the bow, Robin Selby-Smith from Victoria. Belarus, well, some uh, talented athletes in this uh, boat. Maria Brell in the stroke seat. And closest to you in lane six, Germany with Marlene Sinig in the stroke seat. Daniela Gore, Kirsten Naumann, the only survivor from last year's uh, crew. And uh, Nora Wehrmann. So Australia and China are in the center of the echelon. There were only seven entries for this international class, so only one crew eliminated, so it's almost a straight final. Thing. It is almost a straight final, and it's the same, uh, the usual culprits, as it were, the crews that tend to, uh, the, the teams rather, that tend to have uh, lots of up-and-coming athletes who need uh, an opportunity to get a race at international level, but don't quite make the first uh, line boats. But Robin Selwyn Smith and Kate Hornsey in that Australian boat, both gold medalists from last year in Gifu in the eight. So they've got four. And away we go in this final of the women's fours. Hornsey and Selby Smith won this event too last year in Gifu. Both. And they're going straight out into an early lead there in the middle lane. You can see them in lane four in the yellow jerseys, uh, three from the top of, uh, bottom of your picture. And it's them and China who are setting the early pace, which is exactly what you'd expect in the uh, heats for the, uh, to, to decide who was knocked out to make the seventh boat. The um, crews sorted themselves into an order with the fastest two, China and Australia, in lanes three and four, and that's how it's showing in the final. And the uh, Chinese women's four, a, a mixture of youth and experience in the engine room, in other words, in the middle there, you've got two 18-year-olds, uh, but at uh, stroke, you've got Lu Xua, who uh, is uh, 29 years of age. She's the senior member of the crew, was fourth in the Olympics in Athens, and also Yu Fei in the bow was also in the Olympic 8 that finished in fourth place. And just moving up now to contest the race, uh, Germany on the near side. You can just see the bow going through, and Hugh, over the past week, the tendency has been, if you want to get out there for a medal, you've got to be up with the race pace right from the get-go. That is the normal uh, strategy for tailwind races. Um, you can't bide your time because everybody's moving faster than their normal pace. As I say, this is within 10 seconds of world record times in B finals, and we haven't seen any A finals yet. So um, you've got to be in a position because you can't change pace as you would in a headwind or flat conditions. And so uh, those crews that want to win uh, are going to show early. And that's actually in, a, in an event like uh, this particular one, the Women's Cox is for, uh, there's a wider spread than there will be in the A, 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 a finals of, for example, men's quadruple skulls or men's Cox is fours, where there's a two length spread across the entire field. Amber Bradley there in the uh, three seats uh, for Australia, bronze medalist last year in Gifu in the double skulls. And uh, the Australians now, well, they're edging towards a length advantage over China. With on the uh, near side, uh, Germany uh, in just about bronze medal position. Because today, Hugh, is all about medals. They've done the hard work. Most of the uh, crews have had to uh, work hard through heats as well as... Uh, semi-finals to get into the final this has not been quite the case in this situation but this is a crew based from the eastern part of their country rostock berlin dresden leipzig and uh, kirsten naumann in the uh, two seat she was a silver medalist with this crew last year behind the australians this is actually a, a new crew entirely and in uh, the rudersport published uh, uh, less than a month ago there was an expectation 
that uh, uh, only uh, Kirsten Naumann was in a four, and the other three names are different. So they've shaken it all up, and uh, Lenka Bech, who was uh, dropped from it, um, is uh, here on the, uh, on the, uh, in the spectators. So it's a completely new combination, and they clearly thought they could do something with it. Surprising that they're in an outside lane, and at the moment holding on to bronze medal position. Yes, Australia uh, with a length advantage now 135 67 for their second quarter and that's uh, considerably quicker than anybody else in this race and that's why they've earned the advantage that they've got and this may well be as you said Hugh in these tailwind conditions this may well be a very familiar tactic particularly in the first thousand there'll be a lot of crews who will be looking to really go away and uh, then uh, plan to hold on in the second thousand it may, it may work, it may not. It, well, it's, <laughs> it, you know, you, if you blow up, you blow up. But it's the uh, only way to do it. You cannot guarantee that fast-moving boats will let you pass if you hang back too far, and we saw that all through the weekend. I think, the, uh, although this is Australians in, in picture at the moment, uh, one of the crews I think is most interesting to watch is China in uh, lane three beside the Australians because China has these two um, Li twins, Meng and Tong uh, Li, and they are... Um, just 18 actually a couple of months into 18 and uh, the idea that you bring 18 year olds juniors on to be ready for 08 is actually quite bold and uh, if they put them in this it means that they're going to be promoted into the eight or something in the next couple of years and a good result here is going to give us uh, a good indication of how deep the Chinese team will be for 2008. Yes, and of course those two young women very much candidates to come back here in 2012 for our own Olympics in that year. Here's Australia, China, United States. United States uh, moving up there. We haven't talked too much about them, but they put in a 137.96 for the third quarter, and that's moved them from fourth into bronze medal position. The Americans, as I said right at the beginning, they're all out of uh, California. Rachel Jeffers in the stroke seat from Los Gatos. Esther Lofgren, it's her debut for the USA. Erin Caffaro from Modesto, California, and also Portia Johnson in the uh, bow seat. Uh, and again, this is very much a new combination. And if they get a bronze here, this will be very good. And they're going pretty well at the moment. That's them drawing right up and away from Germany. You can see Belarus, the lane five above all there, and you can see the Netherlands in the background in fourth place. But it's uh, you know, definitely the United States holding on for bronze now with 250 meters to go. Indeed it is, and uh, China trying to uh, race back on Australia, but Australia very much uh, in uh, command. Uh, one or two uh, little warnings from the umpire there, but I think everything's okay. And it is Australia leading in with something like 12 to 13 strokes to go now to the finish line. The first of our morning's championship finals. Australia in gold and wearing gold ahead of China. United States solidly in third. Belarus raising their game, but could it be a little bit too late? I think it will be. They're challenging the United States who are tying up a touch. But it is Australia who crossed the finish line here on the Dorney World Championship course to take gold ahead of China. The United States indeed to take bronze ahead of Belarus, the Dutch, and finally Germany on the near side in lane six. Pillar to post, totally in control, and much more to come from the 2006 Women's Four representing Australia in 6.25.35. And... Uh, that's a pretty good time because the world best time was 6.25.47. Unofficially, this is a new world best time. So what a start to the day, Hugh. Well, um, it was interesting. The B finals were 10 seconds off that pace. And uh, now we've got A finals coming in smack on world record time. We had the same experience in Gifu last year where the